G'day everyone, Con here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video, and today we're doing an unboxing of the Zoom H1N and the accessory pack. So without further ado, let's get stuck into my video. Let's go. So we're going to do an unboxing, and maybe at some other point I'll do a review on it, but I don't feel I know enough about sound to justify a review. But I do know a channel that does some good work with the Zoom H1N. His name's Julian Krauss, and I'm going to link down to him below in the video description because that guy's a guru when it comes to setting these things up and, and uh, monitoring sound and that sort of thing. Some of the specs on the Zoom H1 is XY mic design, captures perfect stereo image, records audio up to 24 bit 96 kilohertz in a WAV format. One touch button controls, limiter and auto level switches, include state tone generator for DSLR video, USB microphone function for PC, which is going to come in handy, records on micro SD card, and has 10 hours of battery life from two AAA batteries. In the package, you get one recorder and two batteries and a quick start guide. So let's hold them to that. Okay, so there's a ton of paperwork within the box here, so I'm going to be reading that. I need to learn as much as I can about sound, so I'll put that aside. Here's the package. Little baggy, nice little baggy. So there you go, you have your device itself there. There's your adjuster here, your knob there. You've got your audio, low cut, limiter, and auto level buttons, record button, stop, play, pause, skip back, skip forwards. On the left hand side, you've got your volume up and down, your headphone jack, so you can monitor your sound. I can't currently do that with the DSLR that I have. On the right hand side, you've got your mic in, so I could run from my mic into the Zoom H1N. You've got your micro SD card slot, delete button, volume on or off button, and your micro USB slot as well. And here is your battery port. And then obviously up the top there, you have your XY design. One thing I will say is it's a little bit plasticky. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more to it and a little bit more weight. I thought it would be a little bit more solid. So a little bit of a disappointment there in the unboxing of it to see that it is quite plasticky. And even the screw to attach it to something is plastic inside as well. So hopefully that doesn't thread itself out. But anyway, there it is. So there is the Zoom H1N. I'm going to put it aside. And now we're going to have a look at the accessory pack by Zoom. There is a lot of accessory packs currently on eBay and Amazon and all those sorts of places. And they've probably got twice as much in them as compared to this package. However, this is the official one from Zoom. So I'm pretty happy with what I've got. And I will be using all of them, I would imagine. So you have a windshield. You have an AC adapter for USB type AC adapter, a micro USB cable, an adjustment tripod, uh, a padded shell case, and a mic clip adapter as well. So let's just get it out and have a look and see what we get in the package from Zoom. Open it up. Here is our AC adapter. So there you go, AC adapter with the micro USB port, uh, which is nice and handy so you can charge up your batteries if you've got chargeable batteries. The micro USB cable, the windshield, which is handy. So this can go in there like so. And there's your windshield. So hopefully it doesn't hit the knob for adjusting here on the bottom or on the top of the Zoom microphone. But there's your windshield. Here is the case. Now one thing about the case, which is a little bit weird, you can fit the microphone in the case, but where are you gonna put your accessories? So they're gonna to have to go in a separate case or a separate bag. However, that's handy. That's gonna work. It is what it is. It also comes with a little lanyard as well. So if you're having to maybe lose it, you might be able to, to secure it to something. This is for like your mic boom or your mic pole. So that would stick in the mic pole like so and record towards whatever you want it to record it to you point it whichever way you want it to and then last but not least a nice cute little tripod so this will go in here so as you can see I've currently got my setup over here with my Rode microphone on it and it's quite big 
I've sort of made that myself. So I could set that up how I want it. Tighten it into place. And there we go. That could sit there just like that, recording my sound. A lot less intrusive and a lot more easier to manage. So I do like that. Now the real test is going to be for me is learning about sound and learning about microphones with more than three buttons on them. So this is where I'm at at the moment. I will be back in about a week and I'll do a comparison video between the Rode Video Mic Go and the Zoom H1N. And my, uh, my biggest problem with the Zoom H1N is even at this close, uh, it gets some quite bad hiss that comes out of the microphone. And unless I've got it right down low and hold really close to my mouth, I just get terrible hiss out of it. Now that could also be my DSLR that I'm using as well. Um, however, I've got to try and improve. So this is one little way of doing it. So there we go. It's set up. I'm going to go get an SD card and have a play around with this and learn how to record sound through this and experience that for myself. If you appreciated me unboxing it and showing you what comes in the accessory pack and the box, hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you didn't, well, move on just like the rest of us would. Thank you for coming along and watching the video, and I will catch you in the next video. Check out.